Hello and welcome to another video. We're going to have fun with this tile tracker. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. I bought this in a two pack of trackers, a black one and a white one. And um, unfortunately, when I tried to activate this, it sounded like the speaker wasn't working properly. The, the button doesn't press properly. And when I do, when I did get it to press, the speaker sounded like it was making a bad contact. So I couldn't actually use the tracker. So I spoke to Tile uh, on their chat or email, I can't remember now. Uh, and they sent another one out. It took quite a while to get to me, but uh, this one's dead. They said they'd leave it on the account, but there's no point because they asked me to just dispose of it in electronics recycling, which is what I want to do. But um, I didn't want it still on the account in case it started working and would set itself off in some you know box of scrap uh, electronics i've got to, i'm trying to be very careful here not to slice my finger open they're not designed to be user replaceable they've got a battery in them and once the battery is flat you've got to buy a new one so they don't want you opening them because if you could open them then you'd uh, replace the battery obviously So I'm not going to continue showing you this. I'll uh, come back once I've got it open. I feel like I should be saying one moment, please. Might as well make use of the cutting mat I bought for this sort of thing. Save my desk. So basically, if you don't know what a tracker is, it allows you to find your keys or your bag or whatever. Um, if, you've, if you've lost it, uh, Samsung make these, but you can only use them with a Samsung phone, which I don't own. Apple make them and charge twice as much, uh, but you need to use an Apple phone or some sort of Apple, Apple device to find them if they're lost. But these tile ones, uh, you can use them on any mobile device, Android or iOS or a computer. And I've got loads on mine. And oh, I've got to start off again. And basically, if this is attached to your keys or in your bag, um, you set it up and you give it a name in the app. And uh, if you can't find your keys or your bag, you you tap on it in the app, and it will make this sound and make a sound on this, and you can locate it audibly. Likewise, if you press on this, it would make your phone uh, bleep, so you can find your phone if you can't find your phone. And they work on Bluetooth. So say you'd taken your keys out and you'd lost your keys; they've fallen out of your pocket somewhere and in in the middle of a field or something. Um, Anyone who's got the Tile app on their phone, it will communicate with that and um, leave. And the phone then will give the GPS coordinates to the Tile company. And you can then get an alert for when your Tile has been found. Oh, i setting this off now. I'll oh, shut up. Now, there's a bit of a problem with this because people have been using them uh, I thought of using them as an anti-theft device, or so it wouldn't be an anti-theft device, but if somebody stole my bag and this was tucked inside it and they didn't know it was there, I could try, I could locate them until they found the tile and then destroyed it, which doesn't seem to be very easy. I'd be able to locate them or the police and then send the police around to them. But what was happening was people were putting them on you know, if you wanted to track your wife or your ex-wife or whatever, they would hide one, you know, in say, you know, in a car or something, and then they can track where that person was going. And unfortunately, the uh, legislators got wind of it and decided that they're going to force the tracker companies not to allow them to track a div, um, an object essentially what's going to happen is your phone will alert you if it finds a tracking device if it if it can see a tracking device close by you which doesn't belong to you so if i put this in my uh, wife's handbag to track where she was going her phone would then notice that there's a little bluetooth beep from a, a tracking product and then a message would pop up on her phone saying, 
there's an unknown tracker by you and you'll be able to press a button on your phone and then find out uh, and then the tracker would make a noise uh, and then she could locate the tracker and then she could scan the barcode on the back and then find out who the tracker belonged to so but that really that's an edge case I don't suppose it's happening to many people but it does kind of make them useless for being able to track where your stolen goods have gone because now the thief will just have his tracking app on his phone and his phone will ping saying there's an unknown tracker by you know close to you he'll then look in the bag that he's just stolen and yeet out the tracker and then uh, and then you've got no way of getting back your stolen goods which is a much more likely scenario uh, but of course people find a way around it people have been breaking into these things and taking the speakers out so when the person who's been stalked gets a notification on their phone that their tracker app that, the, that there's an unknown tracker there they press the button on the phone saying yes make it make a bleep but it's not going to make a bleep because they've disabled the speaker app so the bad guys are always going to find a way around it and then unfortunately the good guys can't use the items for their in original intended purpose so legislators think they know better it's a phrase we used to use in England called throwing the baby out with the bathwater you've got bathwater you don't want to so throw it out but the baby's still in the bath and it means um, making something less useful for everyone uh, to make it more secure for some people right so there we are this really is a big Clyde video this one isn't it there we are I'm going to reverse engineer this I'm not really because I've no idea what I'm talking about. But in theory, you could, rather than buy a replacement from tile when the battery runs out, you could get in here and replace the battery. But I wanted to deactivate it anyway, because I don't want this thing going off to electronics recycling. And then um, they turn it on and make my phone bleep, even though tile have said they're taking it off my account. So there you go. There's... Um, some circuitry and some chip thingies um, and uh, ooh, some springs and a battery thingy and a speaker there you go, all very interesting and some gold yeah lovely lovely but that's it that's the end this can now go in oh, I wonder if I can salvage the battery that would be interesting let's have a look and see what battery is got to be careful I don't puncture it Ooh, what's that there? Another bit of chip. No, it's just the contact. I don't think I'll even bother salvaging the battery, but they're probably using some sort of standard size battery in it. Ouch, just done myself. Any guesses to what it is before? It's a Panasonic. There you go, 2032. Panasonic R2032. I think they're 3.7 volts. It's under there. 3. Point... Ah, I still can't read it. 3.7 volts. So, yeah, so Tile will want you to send this off to be replaced. Uh, the whole tracker thing replaced when really it just needs a battery in it. So, I wonder why it's got this sheath around it. There we go, so I'll break off these tabs and I'll be able to use that battery in something else probably, if I can get it off of there. Oh well, salvage it if I can. But that's the end of this video. One tile taken apart, ready to go to electronics waste. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.